So I decided I don't have to film something every day. I just want to be posting something about once a week. And this is my special dedicated time with God each week. You know, obviously, ideally, it needs to be much more than that. But if the minimum that I can do right now is once a week, then that's fantastic. I'm not going to church today, so this is my church today. And many of you don't go to church. This may be the only church that you get today. This may be the only word of God that you get today. The only time you hear someone really talking about God through your entire day today. So, anyway. I'm not going to let myself get depressed. I'm going to keep taps into my source of joy and fulfillment, which is Jesus Christ. I'm 34. I'm not married. I don't have children. I don't have animals or pets. I don't make nearly as much money as I'd like to. I don't have the influence, the resources I would love to have. I don't travel as much as I would like to, etc., etc., etc. However, I have everything, eternally speaking, that I could ever want. I already do. I have everything, eternally speaking, that I could ever need. And you already do as well. We already have it. That's the beauty of it. That's one of the most amazing things about God that I've discovered. And hopefully you have already, or you will if you have not. Give God a chance. If you haven't, that's something you'll never regret. So, I'm not going to get depressed. I'm not going to go seek negative things to make myself feel better. Such as alcohol. I want to share this poem with you that I wrote after my second DUI. I'm 34. I started drinking when I was 12. I do get tempted lately, slightly, to go off the rails and get, feel myself going into party mode after I've had one drink, which is why I'm sticking to just one drink from now on, from now on, because it, even the one drink is, is a slippery slope, you know, if, depending on the circumstances, if it was a really social party situation and somebody said, hey, let's drink some more, I might, then I spend the whole ne entire next day feeling physically like crap, mentally, spiritually, emotionally like crap as well, so can't let that happen again, it's not worth it. But let me show you this poem, because I was 17, I got one, never, ever, ever, ever thought I would receive another one. But on my 34th birthday, which was in April, I did get a second DUI. And I wrote this poem afterwards, and it's called Alcohol Arrest in Romans 8.28. Romans 8.28 always is such an important scripture to me because I never believed or bought into that everything happens for a reason. No, everything can be used for good. You know, not every single tragedy or every single negative thing that that's happened or will happen or is happening is God's will, right? So, therefore, Romans 8.28 makes a lot more sense to me that God uses everything for good for those who love him according to his purposes. So, that's why it's called Alcohol Rest in Romans 8.28. Here it goes. Almost, okay, let me start over. Almost like that negative critical guy I would always go back to if he asked me to. Used as a tool by the enemy to attempt to make me lesser than I am. Alcohol has been there since I was 12 years old. Numbing the pain, but then bringing it back. Ten times stronger, stronger than it initially was. It's an insult to God and an insult to myself. Because God is amazing, and I am too. When I live to honor and glorify him. And I remember a pastor who spoke the truth. He said drinking expresses a neutral stance on the things of God and the supernatural. On who we really are in Christ. And I am suddenly grateful for the very same thing that I wanted to hate myself over. The very same thing the enemy had tried to kill my spirit with. 
you can't experience the spirit in the purest sense when you're using a substance to make you feel better. Nothing can take the place of the love, joy, and peace one feels in the presence of Jesus. No higher place one can go. And I would never be showing this to you, would never be sharing this with you, rather, right now, if God didn't know exactly what he was doing. Working all things for good for those who love him. Romans 8.28 and that's it. So I hope you enjoyed that and peace and love to you. I love you. Have a good day. Happy Halloween. Stay safe. Bye-bye.